Today we're going to be talking about the PLC power line adapters, installing one into your router as well as the panel to give that a hard line connection. And we're also going to be demonstrating a power line adapter with PoE for 450 camera. Keep in mind that these PLC units need to be on the same circuit. If the customer has two breaker boxes in their house and some of the outlets you plan to use are on different breaker boxes, it will not work. Here we have the PLC device that we use for both the router and panel. In this picture, all three lights are on. Uh, the top one meaning that there's another PLC on the same circuit. Um, if this light is on after a few minutes of plugging in both the router and panel PLC, you know that they're on the same circuit. The second one meaning that data is traveling from the device to the PLC. On the router, this will show up right away, start blinking. On the panel, it'll take until you swap it to wired under network settings. And the third one here, meaning that the PLC is linked. Uh, this will be solid after you hold the config button on both PLC units for three seconds or until they start blinking. And once those are fully paired up, it can take a few minutes, that light will remain solid. To get started, take your PLC that you're going to be using with the router plug it into a Vivint router. At this point, you would connect the Vivint router to the customer's router, uh, giving that a data flow going through. You'll see that middle LED start to flash. And at this point, you would move on to running your ethernet cable from your panel to a PLC unit down in the outlet below. Once you have that connected, um, lights come on on the top. You're gonna hold down the bottom config button for three seconds. It'll start to flash like seen on the screen. Do that to both the router and the panel PLC. Note that uh, sometimes the middle LED will not be on until the panel is swapped over to the wired setting. Uh, while the panel is on wireless, which they usually come defaulted, it will not have that middle LED on there. The panel I was using below was already connected to a wired setting. I'll reset it for this next example. At this point, you would be transferring your connection over to wired. Uh, this can take a few minutes. Uh, once the connection is swapped over to wired, it'll start configuring some settings. You'll see the middle light reappear on there and start to flash. Once your connection goes through to wired, sometimes it will remain on disconnected for a few minutes, um, but it'll eventually swap over to connected and you can verify that with a test. So moving on, uh, the PLC with the PoE, as seen on the screen right now, we're going to use that to connect up a camera. Once you're at this point where the camera's powered up, flashing green, you can then link the PLC units by holding down the panel PLC for three seconds and then moving on to the camera PLC and hold that down for three seconds as well. I would recommend learning in the camera with a pre-made Ethernet cable that comes with one of the PLC units um, and make sure that you're using the same outlet you'll be using once the camera is mounted. This is going to verify that the PLC unit is on the same circuit as the panel and this way you'll know if it's going to be possible to install or not. Um, it'll go through some flashing lights just like before. When you see the four lights on with the one blinking, that's what you want to see. At this point, you could go to the panel, make sure you're on 3.10.6, um, go into the installer toolbox like you would normally learn in a camera. You're going to choose the ethernet option. So as soon as you hit the ethernet option, it'll pull up. And that number that's displayed there, just keep an eye on the last three digits of that as that can change if you're adding more than one camera. It'll populate every time even if the camera's already added. So hit add, it'll pop up on there. It loads in pretty quickly. It takes a few minutes to configure the settings, but um, at this point, everything's looking good. You can always go in and verify what the camera is doing if you want to click on the camera details. 
and that'll tell you kind of what, what the process is. So just be aware that after the camera is learned in, it will drop off one more time about 30 seconds later to reconfigure the audio and video settings. But after you have that set, you'll be good to go. You can add in more cameras using the same method. Uh, just keep an eye on that number like I said before because they will all populate when you're going to learn in through Ethernet, even the ones that have already been learned in.